Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge God, and he will direct thy path. Welcome to Test Monies with Akeem Smith, the show that brings transformation, miraculous, and inspiring stories across Jamaica. Today with me I have Janique Jones, and she is here to share her story. What you know, the enemy tries tried to steal her joy, but God allowed her to be victorious at the end of the day. Miss Jones, welcome to Testimonies with Akeem Smith. Let me ask you, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. You are most welcome, Miss Jones. Let me just say thank you for accepting the invitation. As a matter of fact, guys, she would have saw one of the episodes and she would have commented and stuff like that and say um she would like to come on the show and so would have shared the email address and know she's here to share her story and this is to prove that lives are being transformed through testimonies with akeem smith miss jones i want you to look into the camera and i want you to tell us two words that describe miss jones two words yes God fearing, yes. and I'll say I'm a superwoman. Yes. Mm. Th that's it. Okay, God, so you're God fearing, and you are a superwoman, yes, and I believe that you you are a superwoman indeed, because based on what you have shared with me, what you have been through, you are indeed a superwoman. Because many persons been through the you know walk the road that she walked, but did not made it through alive. But she's here today to share it all about what transpired. Miss Jones, what is your favorite scripture and what does that scripture mean to you? Actually, I have two. Yes. Job 23 and verse 10. Yes. But he knows the way I take. And when I am tested, mm. I shall come forth as yes. gold. I like Isaiah 48 verse 10 as well. Yes, yes, yes. He have refined me, not with silver. Mm. He has chosen me in the furnace of affliction. And after sharing my story, you would understand better mm. why those are my two favorite scriptures. Mm. I, can't, I can't wait to hear the reason yes. why. But um, you're from the parish of Clarendon. Yes, I am. Right? Um, what, what it is like growing up in the parish of Clarendon? Tell us about that. Well, <laughs> well I grew up in... Um, the community of Sanguinetti. Mm -hmm. Yes, I attended the Sanguinetti basic school. Then after I moved to Christiana, that's in Sedberg. Then I came back to Sanguinetti to live, where I attended the Sanguinetti primary school. And growing up, I did a lot of walking. Yes, yes. Because my grandmother she was a pastor. She pastored the Sunshine New Testament Church. Mm -hmm. And we had to walk, walk miles to church. Then yes. we'd have to walk back sometimes for dinner, then mm -hmm. back again for night service. And this was like an hour and a half yes. of walking back and an hour and a half mm -hmm. coming home. So we did a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. But then this time I was in primary school. Yes. I attended the Spalling's High after I graduated from the Sanguinetti Primary School. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, okay, so you, how was it like? Are, are we, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can remember, but could you share your experience, uh, your, your experience going to primary, you know, being in primary school or even in high school? What was it, what was it like? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember much right. of primary school. Mm -hmm. And I hardly remember much. So much has happened yes. in the latter part of my life that yes. it, I, I can't recall much of my high school days. Mm, well, no. well we're, we're here to know what has transpired in your life from back then until now. You would have shared with me that you were, before you got saved, before you started worshiping God, you had two miscarriage right yes. and uh, um the result of those two miscarriages because the enemy was off was off was running running to you to get you um maybe to die or stuff like that but when you gave your life to god 
um, everything started to work out for you perfectly. That's right. But I want you to share with us how it all started, right? Um, and yeah, the end. Yes. Well, before the miscarriages, I got baptized two times. Mm -hmm. I used to play church. Yes, yes. Yes, my grandmother was a pastor, as I would have mentioned. And I used to go to church. I used to sing, mm -hmm. knowing that I'm not, I'm not saved. I'm not living the life that Christ, the Christ-like life then. Yes, yes. No. And, uh, you know, fast forward to the year of 2016, that's when reality finally mm -hmm. hit in. Mm -hmm. Yes. At this time, I was um, working at a supermarket in Spalding. Yes. I got pregnant and I, I attended, a, I attended a christening service in St. Anne's. Mm -hmm. This time I was in my fifth month, about to enter the sixth month yes. of my pregnancy. And when I went, the road, it was rocky, the day. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't have to share because I know the christening that I went, yes. my friend would be online. And I, I say, I don't ever want her to feel guilty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about anything because yes, it yes. was all for God's glory. Yes. And when I came home the evening, I was feeling a lot of tension in my belly, the baby, like he was stiffing out. Yes, yes. And my sister, she passed and she said, she could tell the time the baby died because she said she saw when i was laying there sleeping she saw the struggles my god with the baby mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was an active baby from three months i could have felt strong movements wow. and uh, you know i went to work the following day and uh, i was checking no one again if i was feeling any movements and i realized i wasn't feeling any movement and uh, you know, I went home, I was calling persons and I was telling them I still wasn't thinking it was anything too serious. Mm -hmm. Although I wasn't feeling any movement. Yes. And, uh, you know, the Tuesday I went to work and it started to be of concern to me now. I kept on touching the belly, different yes, positions, yes. and I realized I still wasn't feeling any movement. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, after I leave work, the Tuesday evening, I'm going to go by the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then I said, no. Tomorrow is my day off. I'll just take the day and go to the right, doctor. Yes, yes. Okay. The following day, the Wednesday morning, I got up and I was doing a bit of chores upon getting ready. And I realized that I saw some signs. Mm. And those weren't good signs. Yes, yes. And I realized that something was wrong. Mm -hmm. But up, upon reaching this stage, I had a dream in the pregnancy yes. where somebody told me the baby wasn't gonna live mm -hmm. i wasn't a christian then yes yes so yes. i just took what the enemy said right and the morning when i was about to leave i packed my bag because i knew something was wrong right yes and i went to a doctor in spalling when i went there he sent me to do an ultrasound in mandeville when i reached mandeville and they did the test they told me it would take some time for me to get back the result but not after waiting too long they called me because mm -hmm. they saw the, it was severe mm -hmm. and they called me before the time right, yes. they said i would get back the result yes and they said to me don't go back to spaulings because they can't help you there mm -hmm. they said go straight over to mandeville right and you know all along i wasn't feeling any pain i knew the baby was dead from sunday mm -hmm. And after hearing everything now, they would have told me the baby had died. Mm. And he's starting, he start draining now. Wow. And I said to myself, I knew it was from the Sunday he died. So I went over by the Mandeville Hospital where they sent me. And, you know, all along, I wasn't feeling any pain. But after hearing everything, yes. that's how the mind worked. The pain started. It started, wow. And I mm -hmm. mean on pain that was unbearable mm -hmm. and i was there in so much pain from 1 30 the afternoon and i never got got a bed until it was about 6 30 wow. yeah the evening and when i finally got the bed this time i was in so much pain i can mm -hmm. tell you about pain yes, yes. and when i got the bed i 
went in and I lay down and this, I remember the security guard came in and he said to me it's visiting time it's over mm -hmm. and I asked him I said can I get 15 minutes more right. with my sister yes. and I said I just want her to rub the help me to rub the pain mm. and she came and she started putting pressure on the belly right. just to ease the pain and when it, when it was time for her to leave and she left the doctor came shortly after yes she said to me at this time i wasn't a christian mm -hmm. she said to me miss jones we're going to induce labor and just let you get over the pain mm -hmm. you know i started crying because i have a son i did not get induced labor with him i had him natural birth yes, no yes. nothing like that and i started crying mm -hmm. because you would have heard they say this is pain hotter than yeah, the regular wow. pain yes and uh, you know, I remember I called a friend of mine and I said, where's your mom? She's, she's, she's not a Christian. I said, where's your mom? Mm -hmm. She said, she's in the kitchen. I said, listen, and I told her what was happening. I said, I, I need her to pray. I was an unbeliever then, mm -hmm. but I prayed myself. Right, when yes, the doctor came back, she started putting on the drip and I was there. And, you know, after she prayed, we both prayed together. And after that, the doctor put on the drip and stuff, and she left. And the drip came trickling down, mm -hmm. it came trickling down till it reached half, no pain. The pain that I was in, the pain left. Yes, yes. And the drip finished, and I said, you know, I'm not going to tell them. I said, I'm not going to tell them that I'm not feeling any, feeling any pain because I don't want them to come and to give me something stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the come drip on. finished. Mm -hmm. The drip finished and I was there. I was laying on my back because they said to me, if you can pass it out here, we won't have to take you to the theater. And I, I felt comfortable there because I was going to have to pass out this baby mm. on my own. Wow. Remember, when the baby is alive, you can get a little strength from yes. him too. Yes, but this time, nothing like that. So I was there until I started feeling some pain in my back because of the position that I was in because they gave me a pan a pill mm -hmm. that i would pass it out in right and i was there until i was uncomfortable so i sat up and i was sitting there for like five minutes and i realized something strange happening mm. and i started to call the nurse yes. but you know calling sometimes they don't come same time mm -hmm. and when they came when when i passed out the baby i start calling a little louder no God, to tell yes. him that something has happened yes and when they came and they saw that i had passed out the baby and they were there and when she was about to leave mm -hmm. with the the, the, the pill right she said to me i said to her can i see the baby mm -hmm. and she said yes mm -hmm. and uh, the baby was there in the sack and she had a razor wow. and she was going to cut the sack open and i said to her be careful, mind you cut him. Mm -hmm. I always said I wanted three boys. Mm -hmm. I always said I wanted three boys, three boys. And when she cut the sock, I looked at him and I cried. Mm -hmm. He had fingernails. This was six months now That's we're fantastic. talking about. He was actually fully developed, yes. you know, baby born at seven months. Mm -hmm. So you could have tell the stage right. that he was in and they left with him and i cried i cried the night and i remember this was december of 2016. Yes. i remember the following day the persons that they come and they would normally minister in the hospital they came and they came to my bedside and they asked how i was doing and stuff and some one of them said you care to ask if i ask what happened mm -hmm why you're here right and i did not hide it i told him and i remember i said it's only god because i would have been walking around a few days not yes. knowing that the baby mm. was dead oh and god. you know they introduced me to christ and right there and then i knew i had to give my heart right. mm -hmm. to the lord come on and i did not do it same time it was on my heart so bad that i have to I have to give it all in no yes, yes, to yes. Christ because I could have been dead. Yes, you could have. And fast forward to the following year. I remember February of 2017, they had a crusade in Sanguinetti. And I had a need now mm -hmm. that I wanted to serve God. 
-hmm. And I would have been going to the crusade night after night with an expectation yes. that I want to, to, to give my heart to the Lord. And every night I went and came home, nothing happened. I would have seen people shouting and I said, God, you can't give me a shout for myself. Mm, come on, I yes. need a shout. Yes, yes. And the crusade ended. And when he finished, me said, boy, two weeks and nothing not no going thing, for yes, me. Yes, yes. That's how I said it. Mm -hmm. But God didn't want it to happen there. Yeah. Some international preachers came down. It was fine setting, but God did not want to do it that way. Not God's timing. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. March came now, and they had a three-night service at my church. That's a full truth deliverance center yes. in Shudley. And I can tell you, it, it just, just don't bear the name. Mm. This place is a deliverance center. Yes. And I remember the 23rd of March, 2017, I got up and my boyfriend then at the time, we had a good time mm. the morning. And the spirit said to me, plain as we are talking now, he said, Janik, it's the last of it for now. Yes, yes. And I realized that something was going on. And... You know, they had fasting the day. I wanted to go to the fasting, but something happened at church. Oh. And my husband, too soon to be my husband, he went and had to fix what needed to be done there. Yes. So he didn't get a chance to come and pick me up. So I realized the enemy mm -hmm. was working. <laughs> I, I made up my mind that I was going to go the night. Yes, yes. So I went the night. When I went, the church was full. I was standing on the outside. I went late. Mm -hmm. I was on the outside. And when the pastor had finished um, preaching, I was standing on the outside. And when they made the altar call, a lady came outside and she said, are you a Christian? Yes. I said, no. She said, can I walk you to the altar? Come on, yes. Right now, the enemy started showing me, mm. Janet, you're not tired for God's altar. <laughs> People tired for see you because I, I've, I've been to the altar so many times. But mm. this time was going to be the last. Yes, and I said final. to her, when I'm through, I'll come. She said, no, I'm not going to leave you. Come on, yes. And I was there and I realized something is happening and she insisted that she's not going to leave me. Mm. And she walked me to the altar that night. This was the 23rd of March, yes. 2017. And when I went there, I realized that it seems as if something is happening. I remember I started shouting My God. until I can't tell you much from there, but something was happening. Yes. The shout yes, that yes. I was look, seeking for. Mm. It's now happening and it's happening in my church. Yes, yes. Because God wanted it to happen here, not mm. in another branch. He not wanted me it to happen where I worship. Yes. And you know, after everything, and I went up by the road. When I went there, my my husband came. Not husband yet. And when he came, he said, I saw that something happened tonight. Yes, yes. He wasn't a Christian either. And I said, yes. And I went home being a changed person. Come on, and yes. we live together. And you know how things can go. And I said to him, listen, I've made up my mind. And I said, if we can't stay here together until whatever should happen, happen. I said, I'm going to go by my mom. And if we're supposed to get married, yeah, then it will happen. Yes. He said to me, I saw that something happened. Mm. And I accept your decision. Come on, yes. He said, I'm not... I'm not going to trouble you. Mm -hmm. And we slept in the same bed. This was the 23rd of March. We slept in the same bed, but I had a made up mind. I had a determination. And the days passed by and, you know, I was going to church and I felt guilty at some point because I said, I know how people can be. They're going to take the necklace and said, she gets saved and yet she's, she's living there. Yes, but I had a made up mind. Yes. And fast forward to July, the 4th of July, I remember I was at work and he messaged me and when he messaged me he said I've made two dates I've chosen two dates mm -hmm. I need you to choose one mm -hmm. for the wedding my god look at that it was the 5th of <laughs> August and I think I don't remember if it was so I don't remember the date yes, in September yes, yes. and I said he has been waiting so long so I'm gonna choose the earlier Early date day, yeah. and I remember I sent him and I tell him the 5th of August when he came home, he said to me, imagine I sent you the date for the wedding mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem as if you're happy. He right. said to me, not even like a hug, <laughs> but the enemy had something up his sleeve. Mm. And I said to him, you still want the hug? He said, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I realized when I got up and I hugged him, 
he held on to me mm -hmm. and i realized no his motives yes and he kept on using strength and i decided not tonight. Yeah, tonight i said you've been waiting from march and i said it's now july and it's a month from here i said you can wait that's right and you know he wasn't pleased and i said if you don't stand for something you're gonna fall for anything and i can tell you a lot of persons in church Come that on. want to get married look in the camera and tell a them lot that. of yes. persons that are in the church that want to get married you have to take a stand if i had given in mm -hmm. that night maybe today I still wouldn't be married because you would have said time to come you did it and nothing did happen mm -hmm. so what's the difference now but i took a stand yes, yes that night and you know about two minutes after mm -hmm. about two minutes after or not so long his phone rang and when i realized he said who mama who auntie mm -hmm. who you say and i realized something was wrong yes and i said what happened is that somebody sick out a yard mm -hmm. that's my grandmother's house mm -hmm. and after, this was about after nine the night and he walked so fast that i had to run him down to go there the night it's it's about two minutes from two minutes to three minutes from where i live right and when I went there, I realized that my grandmother was sick and she had a, a pill that she was throwing up in. And I said to my aunt, what are these stuff right, mama is right. bringing up? She said she don't know. The light in the room, it's not bright. So you couldn't see. It's like dark things in it, mm -hmm. but you could not tell. So when I got the phone light and I, I shine it in the pan, I realized it was blood. Wow. Like quarter bucket of blood. Wow. Her yeah. ulcer had just burst. Mm -hmm and i said to her a blood this a blood yes. this mama carry up you know and i said we have to carry our girl hospital and that night i mean three men with myself and my aunt we tried to lift her right and we couldn't get her up the night because something was definitely wrong yes yes i am the cry baby you know i like to cry yes 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 and i realized the plan that the enemy had mm -hmm. because if i had gone ahead with what my husband was up to he would uh, not stop to pick the call on, yes he wouldn't stop to pick the call mm -hmm. and we managed to get her in the car and after we got her in the car i don't know how the car brings so much of us that night <laughs> the car was parked and i remember upon reaching white shop half of the journey i remember mama took her last breath my god wow and my sister she cried out mm -hmm. i am the cry baby she she played hard you know she not cry <laughs> but she was crying the night yes and i remember i laid my hands on mama and i said god i came through for you tonight and i don't have a doubt tonight Come if on. mama is gonna live and yes. i remember i prayed yes and i hear Jesus. she take another breath hallelujah after yes. she took yes. another breath i said thank you jesus mm -hmm. because my husband wouldn't stop to pick the car yes. because yes. he had been waiting mm -hmm. and after everything he wouldn't even check to see who was oh, calling yeah, yeah, and knowing true. people nowadays if they call you one time you don't answer at that time of the night they're not gonna call back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when we reached the hospital i saw i stood and i look at my grandmother she was swollen mm -hmm. she lost so much blood wow she was there in the hospital for what about two weeks mm -hmm. and she lived one year after wow and I, she was sick. No one again, she would be back and forth to the hospital. But this was the worst of mm -hmm, it all. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I had given in that night and I would have lost mama, yes. I would have to live with that guilt yes. until yes. today. My God. So I got married. This was July, August I got married. I got baptized the same year. So I got saved. I, I wanted to hold a pin right there so so let's just go back a little bit just step back a little bit and so you're say so you're in the car and you were taking mama to the hospital and apparently mama passed away right yes and you laid your hand I on laid her my hands and you prayed i prayed and immediately you saw like she started she, breathing back yes a cough oh my came God, like come she on. Mm -hmm. when she the, the it was like <sighs> yes yes and i said no not tonight i said god i came through for you i don't have a doubt tonight yes she's not gonna die i said not tonight mm -hmm, if she's on. even gonna die after i said not tonight mm -hmm. she's not gonna die tonight well your feet your feet and because you did not allow your husband to take advantage or to allow that action to happen that is the reason why you were able to extend your feet and 
hey i command you to come back to life in the name of jesus i spoke i spoke life yes yes i spoke life mm -hmm. i spoke life that night mm. tell us more you, you were at the hospital now yes and yes so, mm -hmm. and i stood and she was swollen so big mm -hmm. she had lost so much blood we had to be calling here and they're trying to get blood that's how low yes. her blood count were was God, and yes. we realized that had her ulcer mm -hmm. had burst and you know i got saved baptized and married mm. the same year so so much was happening in this year in 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 this in this time yes yes the year of 2017 yes yes fast forward to 2018 I got pregnant again mm. and you know I went in this pregnancy fearful mm -hmm. because this miscarriage that I lost at six months yes the baby was firm and everything I mm -hmm. had a miscarriage before yes which I don't speak much about it mm -hmm. was just two months and they I went to the doctor and they just flush out the remains that had left okay. but the one that was six months mm -hmm. and the dream that I got yes I went in this pregnancy fearful because I would have been saying to myself, now it seems as if something is wrong. Mm. Yes. And you know, this was in 2018, I got pregnant. Yes. And my husband, he wanted, he wanted a child. Mm -hmm. He had a daughter already, but he wanted one from me. So at this time, you guys, you guys got married. You got and married. You got, you gave your life to God at that time. Yes, I okay. got saved mm -hmm. and baptized 2017. Yes, yes. yes. So when I found out I was pregnant, believe me, it was at work. I bought the pregnancy test, mm. and I went to the bathroom and I did it. And I was a bit excited. And when it, when I sent him, I didn't text him. I sent him the the, the, yeah, picture. the picture, and he was excited. And that same night. I went to a crusade mm -hmm. that's in Walderstan. And when I went there, the preacher came, Bishop Harris, yes. from the holy mountain of fire, God bless him. Mm. And when he came, he said, I did not come to talk about baby tonight. Come on. But something about me mm. under this tent. Mm -hmm. Yes. I started crying because mm. I just found out I was pregnant. I know him don't come to talk about baby. Mm. But something happened and you know I stood there when I was crying because I said, God, me know I made this. Yes, yes. Me yes. know I made me just find out and I knew it was me. Mm. And the spirit of God said to me, Janik, when you have your son, yes. name him Emmanuel. Ah, yes. I said, what if it's not a boy? Mm -hmm. He said, I, I did not say if you have a son. Yes. I said, when you have your son. Yes. And from that <laughs> night, I stood under the tent and I started rubbing my belly on, and yes. calling him by his name. Yes. And you know, it went on from there. And I just wanted to pass this margin that I lost the baby mm -hmm. because it wasn't a nice experience. And I was sick during the pregnancy. I lost a lot of weight mm -hmm. because I couldn't take the scent of food. Anything that was being prepared, I had to leave out of the house. Wow. I couldn't take the scent of anything. And upon reaching, where i lost the baby the person came back again mm -hmm. shook the head and said you know that one you're still not gonna live mm -hmm. i jump up the night me see a liar yes, tell. yes come on me see a liar tell. me say hey, not another still. dead one Hallelujah. come on i yeah, said man. not another dead one mm. and i went to the house and i started binding yeah, up some bloody, stuff yes, because yes, i realized now that something is mm. wrong <laughs> and i went through that night and as i plead the blood yeah, man. of Manny jesus Trump. yes yes and i said you know even at this time knowing that what happened the dream you know the difference no mm -hmm. i was a born again believer that's right this is the difference <laughs> no i when the person said that that was one gonna, gonna live yes. i just took what yes. they said but no i said no 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 no, no i'm Shall standing on no on. and yeah. i spoke with authority come on and upon reaching the six months again mm. i did not feel well this sunday so i decided i wasn't gonna ch gonna go to church yes. my son was home with me and I, I can't tell you what was happening but i did not feel well and i was home and i felt something going on down by my mm. belly bottom mm. i realized it was a baby coming down my god and i said i'm not even gonna think about going yes. to the hospital on, yes i said 
God, if you gave me a name, I say you have to come to perfection. Yes, yes. And I started going through again. Mm. I went back and forth. I went in the bathroom. And I, when I went in the last time, because I was moving back and forth. And mm -hmm. I say, if you give me the name, it must come to You're pass. Right, it must come to pass. Yes. And I went back in the bathroom and I stood up. After I stood up, I felt the baby going back up. Ah, look at that. Come Nobody on. could have told me this. <laughs> and I believe. Yes. But because I had an encounter from, from myself, persons don't believe that God is still working miracle in this mm. time. We're not living in a Mickey Mouse, not a Tom not and a Jerry generation. I, mm. I had a personal encounter, encounter. Yes, from yes. myself. Mm. And you know, after that day, that passed, me said to myself, you know, this done, you know, you can't harm this baby again, right, you know. come on. Your chance up yes. with me. And I went on along the journey. It wasn't easy. They sent me to Mandeville at the Harris Clinic because I was losing so much weight. And uh, they placed me at the Harris Clinic. So I started going to Mandeville for my, for my checkup. Yes. Regular, yes. And... Uh, when it was time for me to have baby, I always said I wanted three sons and I want to have birth on Sundays. Yes. I had my first son on a Sunday mm -hmm. and I went in Mother's Day, mm -hmm. the 12th of May, 2019. I was home and when I was there, it was my son. I was by my mother now because it was almost time for me to give birth. So yes, I, was, yes. I was at my mom. Mm -hmm. And when I was there, the Sunday evening, I fell asleep and my son he came to wake me i said mommy what happened to you mm -hmm. i said like what mm -hmm. when i realized i was wet from my head my god i mean, I mean like cold sweat wet mm -hmm. and me realized that something no 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 looks so right and i went to the bathroom i wasn't seeing any sign but it was leading up to time for my due date yes yes and i kept going back and forth until i called a friend of mine she's a doctor and i told her what was happening she said you know i think you should go out Mm -hmm. and I went out when I went to the hospital I was well in labor mm, my god no pain at all you know yes, yes. because the enemy still a try mm -hmm. but I said there's no way on God's earth come on. you can kill purpose come on come on and when I was there the doctors they were back and forth wondering if they should let me do the c-section or natural birth but the pain started no no pain now reach you until you hear what happened you know right and the pain started and i remember a doctor there that i would have seen her a couple of times she came in and she said to me miss 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 jones we're just gonna do the c-sec the c-section yes, yes and i remember i said to the doctor i said i need a tie off this mm -hmm. time my husband have left because mm -hmm. it was a bit about going up to 11 12 that night okay and i said to them i need a c-section mm -hmm. i need a all um tie tie off. Off. Tie off, yes right. they said is your husband aware i said no right they said you know how things are i said listen i said if i am the one that's gonna bring the other child mm -hmm. don't give me the tire but they say if my husband can't carry it <laughs> i said don't tie me off but this, as yes. long as I'm the one who's going to bring this baby, I said I need a tie off. Yes, yes. And upon reaching the theater, every ox I asked, I was just begging them for them to give me. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want it anymore. I didn't want it anymore, baby. I wanted three sons. I had one, one had died, and here's the other one. Mm -hmm. Because when I went to the, the, ultra, um, the ultrasound, right. it was a bit early. And when I went, the doctor said, it's a bit early, but if I can see, would you want to know? Mm -hmm. I said, I already know. So this was just going to be a confirmation. Right, I yes, said to yes, her, yes. it's a boy. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the spirit of God could never say, Lie, yes. give, name him Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. And I said, what if it's not a boy? Right. I wasn't supposed to question God. I was just supposed to walk in obedience. Yes. And leading up, when I went to the theater, I kept asking them, please, I need this. And, uh, you know, I went there. I'm afraid of surgery, you know. The, the natural birth, it's painful, but... You recover faster. Mm. So I'm going to do the six section. And I'm happy because I wanted the tie off. Yes. And, uh, you know, after everything, they put it to sleep. I remember the last thing that I said was, God, all these doctors, you're mm. above, your doctors above every oh, other mm -hmm. doctor because you would have realized that the enemy mm -hmm. is after me. Yes. All right. After everything, the surgery went well. 
you get up not fully awake but your eyes hit the light and mm -hmm. from if you don't know anything about surgery from the moment your eyes hit the light thank god you yes. know dead yes. god i'm alive mm -hmm. i thank you and just a mood of worship you're just thanking god that's right and i remember after i had birth they put me they took me from the theater you don't go on the ward just yet those like it was a recovery room yes, then yes for those who just came from the theater mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i remember when i was there i got breakfast i didn't have baby until the 13th of may this was wow. the monday yes i wanted a sunday baby i got it monday mm. yes and <laughs> i remember i got breakfast mm -hmm. i was hungry and I did not know that after a surgery, you never eat. You're not supposed to eat. Mm -hmm. And I was so hungry. I ate, I ate so fast before mm -hmm. any nurse could have recognized me. I eat. They mm -hmm. finish the food because <laughs> me hungry. Yes. And I remember a nurse came in, and I'm just gonna say it like how she said. She said, "Jesus, God Almighty." She said, "Who give you food?" Mm -hmm. Right there and then, I knew something was something wrong. Was wrong yes. I started crying. And she said, you're not supposed to eat anything. Mm. She said, you're just confrontated. You're not supposed to eat nothing. And when I got up, I saw the guy. And I said, I said, who give you food? Forgive me. Right, yes. He said, no, no. But you realize that the enemy is still at work. Ah. My name yes, was on the yes, food. Yes, and yes. when I got up, you know, they had the thing on you that you passed your yes, So you're not right. able to move around as you are to. And when I ah. got up and looked, I was the only one eating. And the nurse said to me, you can't pray? She said, look here, pray like you never prayed before. Wow. And I say, right here and there, I say, God, today you kill me, come in and pray. Mm. I say, as God live it, I'm mm. so live it, I am not going to pray. It, it just felt like it was too much and like I couldn't handle yes. anymore. And I decided I wasn't going to pray. And I lay there and my phone rang. And a friend of mine called me and she said, Janik, I don't know what, but me turning at the house I you there before me the yes. spirit said pray come on and she's I, I she did not pray on the phone she prayed before mm, she called me come on yeah and she said i prayed yes yes me no mean like a minute or two mm. after when she the nurse just, tell yes. me and me decide to hear what i told me i did come in and pray mm. and she said i prayed and i thank her she prayed <laughs> me through that morning yes. and from that i love singing this song somebody prayed for me they had me on their mind they sacrificed their time mm -hmm. because it's a sacrifice she did not have to exactly pray exactly right but she sacrificed her time she went down on her knees mm -hmm. and prayed for me mm -hmm. so i went there i was there till after everything nothing happened yes. because the prayer was prayed yes yes and they took me to the ward now and i was there it was time for me to go home and everything i went home i was home baby was doing okay and all of that right and i remember this time the baby was about six months mm -hmm. i went to my bed and i had a dream mm -hmm. i'm a dreamer yes yes i'm a dreamer girl yes and the night it was my son my eldest my biggest son mm -hmm. like he was walking on the road and it was like a truck that came and hit him mm -hmm. and when the truck hit him I started running running in the position that to where he was right and when i realized before i reached him i saw somebody coming and i said you, you see janada out mm -hmm. the road he said yes he asked me something just hit him down out there and he said no he all them all right he said no and i was running to him and when i reached there where he was standing it was near a river mm -hmm. and in the dream as i went there and i was about to take him because i realized the truck had hit him the river caved in with him uh -huh. and i realized that something you see the day you make up your mind to serve god awesome. I, I made up my yes. mind i said listen you see that day i decide god i'm gonna serve you mm. and i'm gonna serve you good so the enemy know went up against mm. you know because me now play church no more you know Come on. i used to play church yes and you know in the dream when the river cave in i jump up mm -hmm. and i started praying because you have to learn to start praying yeah, against man, some things now. so you live you learn yes otherwise i would have just said it was just it's just a dream mm. not anymore no, you have no, to no, no. realize how the enemy work and that things are happening in the spiritual so, yeah, before right. they manifest and sometimes we don't pray and we watch them play out right before our eyes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so he slept at my mom the night and i called mommy and i told him to send janado around and i prayed for him yes i anointed him there were some other children in the in the in the 
in the whole in the yard space right and the spirit said anoint all of them ah. and i anointed every one of them but i did not anoint myself oh my God. i never cover myself mm -hmm. the night i went to bed and when i went to bed i hear like the back door like there was some noise in in my dream like somebody was trying to come in mm -hmm. i mean i said to myself so then they don't realize that somebody the home right, oh they might right, try to yes, come inside yes. and a rum cream bottle was on the dresser this mm -hmm. is in real life i like to drink rum cream i take a sip <laughs> now and again and a rum cream bottle the quart was on the dresser in the dream i took it up it was there physically mm -hmm. but i took it up in the dream yes and i make one throw and i break it on the door mm -hmm. the kit the, the back door yes because in my dream i'm trying to tell them that they might try coming but somebody they mm -hmm. want me home not right. empty yes yes and you see the moment i let go the bottle and it break i could not move my hand oh my god this was in a dream and when i wake up i realize that i can't move mm. and I said to my husband, say, me want to get up. I want to get up. Me can't move. Mm -hmm. When me realized, my right side was my dead. God, oh my God. And I laid there and tell him, I said, like, oh, what happened? He, he probably didn't even think I was serious. But he, was, he didn't know what was happening. And mm -hmm. when the day break, I said to him, me can't move, you know. And he said, me say, go down at the bed and try. Pull me foot them. Try to see if you can draw me yes, off of the bed. Because yes. I can't get up none at all. And... When the daylight, he said, he's going to bring me to test my pressure. If something was wrong with my pressure, that's a lady in the community. Mm -hmm. When I went there, my pressure was okay. Mm -hmm. As I came back, they had to just get me dressed and bring me to the doctor. Wow. When I went there, I got some medication. wasn't helping because spiritual, no, you know. Mm -hmm. And medicine can't help me. Can't help that. And I realized I can't swallow. I can't turn my head. I can't bend. I was my unable God. to help myself. And at this time, Emmanuel was about six years mm -hmm, old. Mm -hmm. And I was in so much pain until I said, God, I cannot bear this. Yes. And at this time, you know, when reality hit, one at a time, Emmanuel, That's he was Emmanuel, crying. Huh? Emmanuel, no, okay, no. I thought he was here. He was crying to come to me. Mm -hmm. And I could not hold him. Yes. I could not hold the baby and I cried. Mm -hmm. It was one of my cousins risha she did the washing she took wow. care of the baby because i was unable to even hold my own baby and the following day i went to a different doctor mm -hmm. he run some tests and stuff he, go, he gave me some bulging for the pain yes, yes. that never helped me mm -hmm. because when you see warfare no one happen the Why? medication is yeah, not gonna help not gonna work. he said he's gonna Pray send me to do some tests yes. and i said to mommy this time my sister, she's the driver. Yes, Every yes. day I pray for a double portion for her. Every move I bless make, your sister, she's the driver. <laughs> and I remember, I said to mommy, I'm not mm. going to any more doctor. Yes, I know. yes, come on. They say, this I know doctor business. Mm. You realize, say, a heavy yes, warfare, yes. you know, you're under. Because of the, the commitment that I made that year, well, God, may I go serve you, you know? Yes, come on. And I don't want to be a Christian that you get saved here in a church. All they testify, once I was mm. blind, no, I can't <laughs> see. I say, no, I don't yes. want to be. I want to be more than an ordinary Already, servant. Yeah, so you realize, say, you go get more than an ordinary mm -hmm. fight. Yeah. <laughs> and I said to mom, I'm not going to any more doctor. Come on, yes. Mm -mm. And I remember I called up some persons. And they prayed. We fasted and prayed. I went to three this, these three days of severe pain. Mm -hmm. I remember I went to the doctor the morning, you know, and the pain are helping. I went to the hospital the night. This is in COVID just started. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And when I went to the hospital, the, the, the doctor said to me, say, a quick neck, you come here with them hours. Mm -hmm. And I said, if she only knew, I was unable to swallow, I couldn't move. And I said, no. And I, when I was leaving, I said, me can't get something for the pain. Mm -hmm. She said, she can't give me anything. I said to her, me say, you see me go home or anything at all happened yes, to me? Yes, yes. Me say, remember, you can't say I didn't come. Right, right. And the nurse, when I went out, the nurse came and she called me and she said, the doctor calling you. Cause she realized what happened. No, you know, come uh, say it's gonna be on your, your shoulder. shoulder. Yes. And I went back in. They gave me something for the pain. This was three days now before the fasting. Nothing helped. I was just back and forth to the doctor, to hospital and stuff. And after the fasting and prayer, I realized that I can't take time move now. I can't mm -hmm. swallow. Come on, the man. Look what I can't down. take time move my hand. Yes. I sat up for three nights and slept because I couldn't lay down. If I lay down, 
I can't get it back up. My God. So I sat up for three nights mm -hmm. and I slept. This was about six months after I gave birth. Yes. Fast forward to one year now. Mm -hmm. You realize that the enemy yeah, now yeah, give up. Give it, and I try. still have a made up <laughs> mind. And the other day I was looking at Jacob, you know. He wrestled physically, but uh, I'm wrestling. Um, he wrestled physically, yeah. but no. Spiritually, I say, you know, matter where the enemy threw mm -hmm. at me, Comes I right have me. a made up yes, mind. That's right. And fast forward to um, Emmanuel is now one years old. And I was home. After I had gave birth i decided i'm not gonna go back to the supermarket for so many reasons yes. when we look for my baby when he was born he had two dimples <laughs> they were so deep this is was an angel and me said god me can't leave this a quality baby go back to the supermarket you know <laughs> and me decided say, i'm not gonna go back and yes. for another reason if they ask you to work on a sunday and they tell them about church they say if you're at a church than, 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 than mm -hmm. the money mm -hmm. and these were some chinese i said i'm not gonna go back so i started my mother helped me and I start, start out um, a cook shop. Yes, come on. In my community. When we started out, you know, this is like a residential area. I said, thank God. You people want like this. Support. The support mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. worried about. I mean, I said, setting like this, people shop, then up top working class <laughs> people, yes. you know. I mean, I said, boy, come like, I want desert, this, you know. My God, yes. But he promised, even in the desert, you will make spring, spring up. And I started the cook shop. Things are going so well. Every day I go on a shop. I make money now. <laughs> and me feel nice. Yes. I remember one morning I got up. And I normally started like cooking. Start preparing some stuff from home. Mm -hmm. Before I go to the shop. Because I live close by. Yes. And I remember one morning. I started preparing some stuff. And I felt a sharp pain. Mm -hmm. Under my belly. It mm -hmm. felt as if somebody used a sharp knife. And just wipe it my and i held my belly mm -hmm. and i went down and when i went down i managed and i went on the bed when i went on the bed it eased a little and then i made some tea he said probably a gas right right so after i made the tea i realized the pain was on and off i mean severe pain mm -hmm. we're in the midst of covid now you know yes, because yes. covid starts when i got the attack first that's right now we're in the midst of covid and i said to my sister me I wonder if I guess I kept drunk drinking so much tea the whole day me I drink tea mm -hmm. because me I see a gas and I realize I can't pass any urine. My God, yes. So I realize now it's not gas and I said I don't want to go to the hospital, you know, mm -hmm. because there's something where they might go use pushing at your nose, uh, yeah, just the thought true, of yeah. it on your mm -hmm. throat. And I say I could not bear the pain. Yes. I said to my sister, I wanna go now. Mm -hmm. I was there one at the time I could remember. I was on my knees. And I was just trying to push my belly against the bed. Mm -hmm. I pushed the, the mattress and just to brace to get some ease, the pain that I was in. Yes. When I went to the hospital, they told me they're going to do, she want, they wanted to test the urine. Yes, yes. And I told the nurse I was trying all day and mm -hmm. I couldn't pass any. She said, try again, man. My husband came with me the night and I went to the bathroom and I was there for so long. Until I said, go and tell the nurse, we can't, no urine now come. Yes, yes. And they eventually pull the urine. When they test it, they said I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Remember now, you know, I begged them for the tie off. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the first thing when I wake up, I remember they said they did it. Yes. So, so now me, I say, oh, what happened again? Right. So I never get a break. Mm -hmm. From that time, it was just one after the other. Mm -hmm. They rushed me to Mandeville that night. And... This place, this 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 was like after peak hours, night now. Yes. Most places where the ultrasound and stuff would have closed mm -hmm. up. And I remember they brought me in the ambulance. First, I'm going, going into, into the amb ambulance. ambulance yes. And when I realized, after they strapped me down and stuff, the driver was going so fast. And I tell the nurse, tell him, say, may I ask him to take time because the road kind of rubbed right. me. He said, mm-mm. With wow. a condition like this, it can't take time. Mm -hmm. And when I went there, I went in and I did the ultrasound. I was over here hearing, hearing some things. I realized they said she's pregnant. The baby's in the wrong tube. Wow. Our tubes, she have some bleeding inside. Mm -hmm. And they say you're gonna have to rush her back. Yes. When the ambulance, you know, you know, drive this time and I fly, go back to Spalding. <laughs> yes, yes. And when I went here and I sat 
anytime you hear what's happening, then the pain start. Mm -hmm. I was in so much pain. More what I was feeling wasn't pain. The pain just hit now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when they took me back there, I remember I saw the doctor. He was back and forth. Some form of confusion, as I could tell, that no, this looks serious mm -hmm. than what I am thinking. Right, yes. And I remember the car, I called him. He was a Rasta doctor, young guy. And I called him and I said, What's happening? He said, Well, you're pregnant, the baby is in the wrong tube, mm -hmm. your tubes are ruptured, and you have internal bleeding. God. We're going to have to do an emergency surgery. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord God. Not again. It never, it just, it never does offer you something. It, it not give me a break. <laughs> and yes. I said to him, can I get something for the pain? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I can't give you anything. Being that what is happening inside, we yes, can't give yes. you anything. And I was there and I was in, I was in so much pain. And I called him back. I said, are you, I go to the surgery? Mm -hmm. Him say, yes. We start crying. Me need not crying now. Right. Because me know, say, the enemy can't, can't, can't. me have a purpose, me make up my mind, me just give baby, me just come. give birth, you know, me yes. nice, nice baby, and the enemy won't take me out, and I said to him, come here, me say, are you going to do the surgery? Mm -hmm. Him say yes, me say, Jesus, God, me I go dead now, me mm -hmm. say, tonight me I go dead. My God. Because me realized the age, I was looking at the age, <laughs> and being him, he was on the phone back and forth, I realized that he's inexperienced, ah. and I cried, and I remember, I started visiting this part the New Testament fasting Come on. on a Tuesday. Mm. So I, I got to get associated with some of the brethren. Yes. And this, this gentleman from Spot the New, New Testament, Testament, Brother Kali, God bless him. Brother Kali, big up yourself yes. if you watch this here. Yes. I, 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 I saw him and he said, what happened to you? Yes. I was, they were pushing me now on the, on the stretcher. And I was in so much pain, I couldn't talk. I fold my hands and I knocked my chest. Mm -hmm. I know he meant, you know what yeah, that meant. Pray for you. Pray for me. Mm -hmm. And I went in. And when they went in, me going, I'm still, I say, me know me now, go make it out alive, you know. My God. And me, I me start ball now. And I say, God, me tell you, say, me now, dead left, me pity them yes, young, you yes, know. Yes, come on. This eight stage, me can't, Emmanuel was just one. Mm. And I said, I'm not going to die, leave them young. Yes, yes. And I remember, they strapped me down. They told me to look at the light. Mm -hmm. When I was looking at the light, I heard a voice came in. And when I realized it was my doctor that mm -hmm. I was going to, in the early part of the oh, pregnancy, yes. experienced doctor. Mm -hmm. And I called him by his name. He said, is that you? He said, yes. I said, oh no, please pull my hand, let me see. <laughs> me want to see for myself, see him. Yes, yes. And when I got the glimpse that it was him, I, all the fear left. Yeah, you felt okay. All the fear left. Mm -hmm. And I went in the surgery and me, I glimpsed the light again. Me a worship. Yes. Me remember me wake up and me a worship. God, me a thank God. God come and say, God, me not dead. Mm. And I remember when I got up and was in the recovery room, Brother Kali was there. Mm. He stood there. He stayed. I knew he stayed there the night. Yes, yes. And when I look up, he gave me the thumbs up finger. And me need a worship yes, then. Me yes. start worship now. Mm. Me start thank God. Come on, yes. And you know. My husband, when I came home, my husband said he came to me. He asked me your full name and he called up his prayer yes, team. Yes. They wired heaven they prayed, my that God. night on my behalf. I went on the ward. I lost so much blood. I'm always saying, you know, I don't want to have to reach the point where I have to get blood. Because mm -hmm. I said, God, I don't know how body to come out of all those. Right. <laughs> and I realized that I had lost a lot of blood. Mm -hmm. When I was there, the longest I could open my eyes, if somebody came to visit me, mm -hmm. they said, Janik, me come visiting time yes, now. I'm yes. say, eh, and I would say, yes. And the next touch I feel, me I leave. Me say, no, but you just come. Yes. They said, no, I'm here like an hour. I couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. And I was there until I got discharged. I went home. And I remember about three days after I, I, I went home, I got a dream again. Yes. The dream a girl. The dream a girl. <laughs> yes. yes. And 
I remember my husband and I, we were going somewhere and on the journey, we got lost. Mm. And we asked for direction and the direction they gave us, you can't tell that a dead end, nobody now come on the road yes. here. So, because you could see the tar where the road is tar and oh. the grass in the middle. It oh. was so grown yes. where you can't say no vehicle now come here. So a dead end. Yes. And we drove until we realized that no road no go no further. Mm -hmm. He came out of the vehicle. And when he came out, I was looking to see him come back. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see him come back. So I came out and I was looking for him. When I looked, I saw a dog coming. We drove to this road. I realized it was a dead end. Mm -hmm. No vehicle can't pass here. So after he came out, I went out after to look for him. I couldn't see him coming back. Yes, yes. And I realized that there was a dog coming towards me. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest dog I've ever seen, My God. both in dream and in real life. And he wasn't running after me. He was just, I'm going to get my prey, just sneaking up my after God. me. Wow. And this was a couple of days after the surgery. You know? mm -hmm. And I said, I was conscious that I did the surgery. I mean, I said, Lord God, after me can't go run. Yes. And I remember I held my belly. I mean, I said, me can't go run. I remember I saw a lady in the dream, you know, on the bottom side like she was reaping vegetable mm -hmm. i remember cabbage and pop choy she was reaping vegetable and i started calling her she now hear me and know the dog will go get me mm -hmm. and i remember i found a shout and when i shouted she saw me and she run come she said where you are do here so mm -hmm. i don't know her yes. she said where you are do here so mm -hmm. she said nobody no come here so i live you know wow. she said everybody come here so the dog kill them mm -hmm. Me say, where am I? She yes. say, you're in St. Elizabeth. Me say, but me don't know St. Elizabeth. Right. As old as I am, they only drive past St. Elizabeth about two times. I don't know there. Mm -hmm. She say, where you're standing is a cemetery. A My grave you stand upon. And she point and she say, see the dead house out there. Mm -hmm. so. And the morning when I woke up, Psalms 23, the verse, what, mm -hmm. verse 5. Yea, though I walk yes, yeah. through the valley yeah, of the shadow of death. death I will fear no evil. And I realized that this surgery that I went through mm -hmm. was supposed to take me take out, out. Because oh, the God. dream that I would have got after, I realized that I should have been dead. Mm -hmm. So I get saved and I realize there are persons who say, come to Christ. When you come, everything is going to be all right. No, no, That's no. not the case. Mm -hmm. For me, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was just one after the and other. Yes. And you know, each situations that you go through yes you come out stronger you're more experienced mm -hmm. because you don't get dreams no longer and take them lightly you're gonna get up you're gonna start praying about that's some right, things that's right are you gonna sit and watch something happen mm -hmm. could happen for mm -hmm. the worse mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes my god yes <laughs> sister sister jones you have, you, have, you have shared a lot and i'm just trying to process everything but at the end of the day all i can say to god be the glory you know purpose cannot die and when the enemy realized that purpose is upon your life i remember i in 2018 i was taken away to be killed and i i i, I was saying this to my mentor and he was like what and i said yes and every time when i look back over my life i i know i'm seeing the reason why god would have saved me for all of these things that i'm doing now yes you know what i'm saying so once purpose is upon your life yes. god is going to protect you it doesn't matter what the enemy tried god is going to say hey my daughter hey my son i'm going to cover you under my wings you know what i'm saying yes so we're almost at the end of this um session i want you to look into the camera and i want you to encourage somebody who is experiencing um a situation now yes i i cannot promise you that when you come to Christ, everything is going to be easy. Yes. I'm not going to say like the others. You're go the moment you decide, hey, I want to serve God, not just serve him, you know, serve him good. You're going to have challenges. It's not going to be easy, but I can assure you that if he brings you to it, he's going to take you through it. Yes. We're living in a real generation. We heard about the story of Moses. How we parted the Red Sea and stuff like that. I can stand here today and tell you, I had a real encounter yes. from myself with Christ. Don't take it from others. 
if you're gonna serve God and you're gonna serve him good you are gonna have challenges and at one point I felt as if God me not think me I serve you good it felt as if as they said Job as if Job the Job friend said to him I must stop me you the wrong mm. man that's how I felt one at a time and then I realized that hey it's a calling to whom much is given much, much will be required yes. so to God be the glory be encouraged make up your mind don't play church don't play church get serious with god so god can get serious with you god bless you get serious with god so god can get serious with you that that is so profound i i love that i love that sister jones let me just say thank you so much for taking the time out to be on the platform it's indeed a blessing and i hope that persons who listen to your story they th their life will be transformed they you know they, their their experiences um will be different yes. you know what i'm saying and i hope that you know they will just you know seek god seek to just to be closer and closer to god yes. because of your story if you are blessed by sister joan's story i want you to like comment and subscribe and share this video let somebody know that god is still able god is still able <laughs> he's still able to, to to do miracles signs in your life thank you so much for watching this episode and again remember to like comment and subscribe until then see you soon